Guys, in this video, we are going to figure out which one of these very capable off-road pickup trucks gets actually worse fuel economy. On this side, I have a brand new Jeep Gladiator Rubicon with a few mods. And right here is a fully stock, well, almost fully stock Ford Raptor. And I have Tommy behind the camera. And Tommy, can you tell us more about these trucks? Now, in theory, the answer to this question should be obvious. The Raptor is a full-size pickup truck with a twin turbo V6, 35 inch tires, it's got 450 horsepower. It should clearly do worse in terms of fuel economy than the Jeep Gladiator, which is much smaller. It's got a much less powerful V6, but I think the results may surprise you because this Gladiator is also rolling on 35 inch tall tires. It's got a uh, full litany of modifications and uh, not only is it slower, but I have a nasty feeling the fuel economy Maybe worse than Andre's Raptor. Let's find out. All right, I can probably take off my hat so I don't look like a dry erase marker there. Oh, that is way worse. <laughs> I apologize, ladies and gentlemen of the audience. Now I look like Ed China. Comment below if you get that reference. Tis the season for great gifts, and what gift could be better than music? This is the Cove Commuter 2. The perfect speaker for tailgates, camping, or just working in your garage. That's right, there's no more running down your truck's battery just to play some tunes. And the sound quality is great. Take a listen. Now right now, the speaker is throwing out 360 degree sound all around. But split it in half, and you get true stereo audio. You buy one speaker, but you really get two. If you get a call while connected, the Cove even answers with a built-in mic. The commuter is water resistant and it lasts me up to seven hours on a charge. Now the speaker usually costs $229.99, but you can get over 67% off by using the code FAST67. Click the link in the description below and check them out. So what are you predicting? What do you think the Ford will average on our mi mixed driving loop. So about 15 MPG for the Raptor. I'm gonna guess 16 for the Jeep, so I'm gonna be a little bit more optimistic. We're gonna start off at a gas station here in Boulder, Colorado, fill up both trucks to the brim using our two-click method, and then we are going to head out on more of a mountain road into Lyons, Colorado, before transitioning to a country road down to Longmont. Then we've got some stop and go traffic before finishing off with a dash down the highway into Boulder, Colorado, back to the gas station where we start at and then we're gonna fill them back up and see what the fuel economy is over the loop quick okay now we wait 30 seconds let the fuel settle and then we do a second click and the Raptor has a premium engine so I'm gonna be using 91 octane premium fuel this is the as premium as, as it gets in Colorado the truck says I have range of 468 miles. Wow, that's better than the Jeep, Andre. Right now the Gladiator is saying 344 miles. <laughs> so uh, the big tank does have its advantages. Obviously, we did not build out this Gladiator for fuel efficiency. And obviously, these trucks don't really compete, at least in terms of size and capability. We're just curious to see, does a lifted Gladiator on 35-inch tires get similar fuel economy to a brand new Raptor in basically stock configuration? This is the only mod. It's a soft topper, it's foldable. But for this video, Tommy, what do you say we'll keep it this way and find out exactly what it does with this truck topper installed? Yeah, what's the fuel economy rating on the Raptor? The EPA rates this truck at 15C, 18 highway, and 16 combined. In contrast, the Gladiator is rated at 17 MPG city, 22 MPG highway, and 19 MPG combined. We've got the two inch lift, we've got the Rackstar system, and the roof nest. They're both rolling on 35 inch tires. They both have V6s, they both have 410 gears. <laughs> Tommy, that sounded a little bit weak. Yeah, battle of the blenders there, Andre. <laughs> These are uh, good engines, but they're not particularly um, raspy or uh, worth listening to. No, they're not Hemi V8s. Andre, this is the first leg, basically these rolling hills at the base of the Colorado mountains, 60 mile an hour speed limit. 
Uh, what's funny though is we both have our crew set at 60 and I'm slowly pulling away from you. Uh, maybe they're calibrated slightly differently or maybe your tire size is playing tricks on you. Yeah, I think that's exactly what is going on. When we lifted this Jeep, we put on a larger diameter tire and the speedometer is off just a little bit, but it's enough where I'm actually uh, accelerating away from you. So here, I'll slow it down. You know, the lifted Gladiator does pretty well on the highway, but let's be honest, it is kind of styled after a shoebox. <laughs> so big crosswinds uh, do throw you about a little bit. What wind? Dude, this truck is so wide and big and heavy. I am uh, like on rails. All right, Andre, so we have to switch roads here for the next portion of our drive. And we've got a little highway merge test here. Two lane highway, 60 mile per hour speed limit. And um, I'm gonna try to keep up with you in the Jeep as you uh, floor it in the Raptor. And we will see what happens here. So let's wait for a nice gap and uh, we'll see if the uh, mighty Pentastar V6 has what it takes to keep up with the Raptor. There is no way, but I, I'm glad you proposed this test because any acceleration uh, in the Raptor it's actually a cool thing, it's fun. All right, merging. <laughs> He's way behind me. Come on, Jeep. 7,000 RPM. Oh, yep, he's pulling away. There's 50. There's the speed limit, 60. Was that 3.6 liter V6 wheezing and gasping? Um, I almost had you. But uh, let's just uh, set the cruise control again and keep rolling, huh? All right, so it's now time for the stop and go portion of the test. 25 mile per hour speed limit here, right through downtown. We've gone, according to my Jeep, 22 miles or so. Um, and it says I'm averaging 15.7 MPG. How about you? Oh, you will never believe this. Um, so my trip computer says 23.7 miles approximately. So we're a little bit more ha than halfway done with the loop. And 17 and a half. MPG. That's a pretty good result, especially considering the uh, crazy headwinds we were battling. All right, dude, so my trip meter says about 40.2 miles. So that's exactly the way you mapped it, right? Yeah, we'll go off the GPS map, but it was 40.1 miles, and uh, the Jeep says we've gone 38 miles, so a little bit off. Um, now, what does your computer say you were averaging? Well, my fuel efficiency uh, trip meter says 16.5. Um, okay, 16.5 in the Raptor. The Jeep is saying 14.8, but we will see what that means in the real world here in a second. Okay, here's my last reading. 16.4 at the pump, 40 and a half miles according to the trip meter. The Jeep says 14.8 miles per gallon, 38.2 miles traveled. Andre, I'll reveal my fuel economy in the Jeep first. So we traveled 40.1 miles according to the GPS. Yep. I used 2.1 gallons of fuel. What? 19 miles per gallon in the Jeep. The computer said just under 15. So I think that means two things. Um, the Jeep did way better than I thought it would and I really need to uh, recalibrate the speedometer because uh, 19 is pretty darn good for a lifted Gladiator with a uh, automatic and a 3.6 and a roof nest on the back. Let's see what the Raptor did. Tommy, I cannot believe that result on the Jeep. Well, let me tell you what I got. So, same distance, right? 40.1 miles divided by 2.613 equals 15.3. Uh, I thought they were supposed to be closer together, but it, it, this is kind of close to what the truck said, right? It said 16.5. This is 15.3. Well, there you have it. Real world testing. So, much better results on the Jeep than the Ford, but inevitably the size difference, the weight difference, and the lack of turbos definitely played to my advantage in the Jeep today. Yeah, when I think I, when I accelerated that one time, I think I used like a gallon. <laughs> there you 
go. Well, as always, this is Tommy. And Andre. And as always, go back to tfltruck.com and tfloffroad.com for all the latest news views and real world, independent and honest reviews. See you next time. <laughs>